Assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will talk about exception handling that we didn't discuss at the time of login so we disable the checkpoints sentinel disable checkpoint now we will comment this line and see what these checkpoints do so these are our validators of login and if the validation fails it throws an error it throws a json error at this moment we will not use json error we will return a simple error with redirect back so return redirect back with and we will provide an array error key is error and we will provide the value copy this errors and paste it here so we will pass these validator errors in error and we will redirect back to our login page so let's copy this redirect back line and where we are returning json error we will paste this line and change our error we will do this for all of our errors Now let's go to our login page. But before going to the code, let's check our login. We will show our errors after this sign up heading. So after this sign up heading, we will include a condition if session has error. If session has errors then we will show all of the errors in our div. As we are not using errors please note it that we are using key name error. So we can we have to use this key name in our session also. change errors to error now refresh this page and we have a json error let's change this error to i think i forgot to change this let's find this email or password so here it is
so we will change this error also and here is the error email or password is mismatch and if we try to log in with incorrect password more than 5 times then we will get this error you are banned for 804 seconds now let's create a new account So we haven't activated this account let's try to log in with this account as you know that we are still banned let's go to the database and click this table we will select all of the rows and will delete them now let's try to log in again now here is the error your account is not activated please activate your account so that's how we handle our errors and if we go to our config folder where we have quarterly sentinel.php file and here we can see a lot of configurations We have these checkpoints. You can add or remove any checkpoint from this app. Actually, I disable these checkpoints. This is the activation, and this is for reminder, and this is throttling. in which we have global and IP thresholds and interval Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this one, then subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye bye.